I always try to make it the best that I can, but I just, I let the pressure go last year and it made making this one that much better. Yeah. I mean, you guys are look so festive. Everyone's so ready for the holiday season. <laughs> well, I had to up my game because we're, you know, we're dealing with the queen of Christmas here. <laughs> I didn't say anything, but yes, he did. He had to. <laughs> how early, how early do you start doing that, Candace? Like, because I assume it takes quite a bit for you to do it. My decorations went up really early this year. I'm going to admit it was like right after Halloween. Like May. <laughs> like May. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. I just, yeah, I figure if I'm going to put them up and do the work, I want to enjoy them as long as possible. Yeah, 100%. Doesn't mean I'm blowing over Thanksgiving. Doesn't <laughs> doesn't mean I don't recognize Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving, actually. It's my, it's my favorite. But um, but I just like the, the Christmas decorations to be up all the time. Candace, obviously you've been named the queen of Christmas by many, um, understandably so, and well-deserved. Does it? Do you feel pressure with that ever? Because this is your 10th Christmas movie for Hallmark, right? So is is that, do you feel that pressure or is it still, it, no, you don't. You know, I talked about it last year because I did feel an immense amount of pressure as every movie does well in the ratings. And then you always wanna hit that mark and exceed that mark. And last year, I finally let it go because it's not the reason why I make these movies. I make them because I love them. And I, and I know that the, the viewers that watch them really love them and they mean something to them. So like I said, I always try to make it the best that I can, but I just, I let the pressure go last year and it made making this one that much better because I just enjoyed it. And I, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm trying not to think about all the other markers. <laughs> It's good advice it. to use in life to just just enjoy the moment, really enjoy just what you let do. it be, let it be what it is and enjoy it. Um, all right. So I want to start off with kind of just talking about a Christmas contest and how you guys got to do this together. Candace, I assume you have a little bit of pull and you were like, we need to make this happen. So tell me a little about that. I did. Well, I executive produced this movie. So as we were developing the script and fleshing out these characters, it became so obvious to me that I, I John Brotherton needed to play the character of Ben because we are two exes that have this long history together that have obviously broken up. And then we enter this Christmas contest and unbeknownst to the two of us, we're both there and it's awkward and uncomfortable. And so there's a lot at stake, uh, not, not just for the contest, but for one another, because there's still some hurt feelings over that broken up relationship. <laughs> and John and I, of course, were on Fuller House together for five seasons and we have great chemistry. We have, we had such a great time on that show. And I just thought having that history would be perfect and it would give the fans something that maybe some of them wanted. For sure. John, did you immediately say yes? Did you jump at it right away? Well, I was so pumped. I was uh, I was sitting at the Jersey Shore. It was midsummer, and uh, I get a text from her saying, "Hey, can you jump on the phone here in a minute?" And I was like, uh, "Sure." And she calls me and pitched me on it, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, this sounds like amazing." The script sounded amazing. The situation sounded amazing. Um, I love that we got a chance to play exes. I think she pitched me saying, you know, it's not your traditional Hallmark movie uh, where like, you know, big city CEO goes to a small town farm and falls in love with the ranch hand. Uh, it's a, uh, you know, a romantic or it's a romantic comedy where, you know, two exes come together. Um, the exes, playing exes allowed us to really have fun with the comedy, which was, was so fun. So um, yeah, inside I said yes right away. I had to kind of double check with a few things and make sure I could do it. And then, um, but I made it a priority and I, it was, I mean, we had so much fun. It was a, it was a dream. It's so funny because Candace, I think when we spoke to you last, when you were doing your last one, you had said, I have I have a dream co-star coming up. And that's when we were asking. And obviously she was, you were referring to John, which is amazing. I, yeah. um, how, how much for you, Candace, when you're picking a movie and you're figuring out who uh, who gets to be that love interest, how much is, is it that important to you that that chemistry is there? Because it seems like everyone you've done, you have like such great chemistry with that co-star. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> Not as good as John. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's okay, clarify. Never. <laughs> John is number one. Of course. Um, <laughs> Oh, well, you know, all the Hallmark movies I, I've done in the last 10 years, I've produced and executive produced as well. So that chemistry, that casting is very important to me. I've definitely said no to certain people that have, uh, you know, been presented because if I just don't feel like there's going to be this this connection, then obviously it's not going to work for the audience. So I, I um you know, it's it's fun to be on that on that on the producing side of it, and but you know, even more than casting, there's just there's so many elements th that happen to make these Christmas movies as good as they are, mm -hmm. and I like being able to put all of those pieces together, and and you know, I feel like my my fans that watch these movies they expect a really great Christmas movie, and I I always hope to produce that every year for them.